Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lancer Tampa Grammar of Cursus Bahasa Inggris RBA 100. I'm Bonifalo, saya adalah Bonifalo, and today, hari ini, saya akan mengajarkan kalian melalui seorang, you know, bu- video, seorang bule, seorang uh, dari Amerika. Her name is Pace Kaiser. Uh, she's a native speaker, of course. Dia adalah seorang, uh, you know, pembicara asli Amerika. So, saya percaya, I believe, saya percaya bahwa um, kalau kalian belajar langsung dari native speaker kayak gini, entah melalui video atau ketemu langsung, um, your pronunciation, uh, pengucapan atau pelafalan Anda, your listening skills, uh, pendengaran Anda, dan berbagai skill-skill yang lain tentunya akan jauh lebih bagus. So, itulah alasannya. Saya selalu menggunakan video-video orang bule untuk mengajarkan kalian pada saat yang sama untuk melihat bahwa oh memang yang saya ajarkan itu saya tidak bohong ya tapi langsung saja um, you know sesuai dengan aslinya. Anyway, um without further ado, let's get right into it. Langsung saja mari kita mulai. Hey guys, what's up? It's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, I'm actually doing a healthy what I eat in a day. I mean, recently I've been a little bit more conscientious of what I'm eating and if I'm prioritizing my health or not. So I thought it would be a good idea to kind of show you an updated what I'm eating in a day to try to stay healthy. Also, I really want to say thank you so much to Care Of, who is sponsoring today's video. You guys haven't heard of Care Of before. It's a really cool company where if you sign up for a monthly subscription, they'll send you boxes of vitamins and individualized supplements and really cool things like protein powders to help you kind of prioritize your health. I feel like especially with the cooler months ahead and the holidays coming up that it's really easy to let your health and your fitness routine kind of take a back seat. So I feel like as the holidays are approaching and things are getting busier, you guys are really going to love and benefit from the service because it can help you get some extra boost of immunity or energy or whatever you're really needing or lacking. All you have to do is take a short quiz on the Care Of's website. It literally takes like five minutes. So in this quiz, you literally just answer easy questions about your diet and your lifestyle and just your overall health needs. And then you're going to get a research-backed recommendation with all the vitamins, supplements, and proteins you need based on your personalized quiz results. So it's really cool and individualized to you. And then after you fill out that quiz, it's literally so convenient. They'll ship the monthly subscription box right to your door. Yeah, and it's just a really cool product and service idea for staying on track with your health. Hey guys, what's up? It's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, I'm actually doing a healthy what I eat in a day. First... Um, yang ingin saya ajarkan adalah um, yang bagian pertama ini but for a while sebentar, nah yang ini dia alright tapi lebih ke sini so in this week's video alright so um, when we talk about possession we can use the genitive or apostrophe s nah apa yang saya maksudkan di sini bahwa ketika kita berbicara tentang possession possession itu artinya kepemilikan kita selalu menggunakan uh, sa- salah satu cara ya ini bukan the only way tapi salah satunya one of them right itu adalah menggunakan apostrofi yang koma atas ini namanya apostrofi kemudian s ini menunjukkan bahwa hey itu punya kamu alright for example inilah contohnya misalkan um, ada percakapan between a and b dia katakan hey is that your coat apakah itu um, jacketmu No, it's Sandra's. Sandra's coat. Nah, kalau kalian um, lihat, ini adalah ada apostrofi dan juga S mau menunjukkan bahwa it belongs to Sandra. Itu miliknya Sandra. Alright? So, it's Sandra's. Nah, kadang kalau misalkan it is already clear, sudah jelas di bagian atas, you don't have to, anda nggak harus taruh itu juga no problem. People will understand that. Oke, okay? orang akan mengerti itu. Or, You know, the listener will understand that. Tetapi, kalau misalkan nggak jelas di awal, you have to include it. Anda harus masukkan ini, alright? Sandra's coat, kayak gitu ya. Or for example, here in the second example here, it's Polly's office, alright? Polly's. Nah, by the way guys, um, maybe ke Anda mungkin bingung, what about the first one here? No, it is not. Itu nggak ngomong tentang generative, alright? Or it, itu nggak ngomong tentang possession. Tapi itu lebih berbicara pak. Ini sebenarnya singkatan dari it is, alright. Bisa juga disingkat seperti ini, alright. Or misalkan he is, alright. So for a sec, he is. Nah ini bisa disingkat dengan 
kayak gini tapi ini ini enggak berarti ini adalah uh, generic or it doesn't here we don't talk about possession but we talk about you know, itu hanya kayak sebuah pernyataan tentunya enggak ada artinya kecuali ada kalimat lanjutan alright so once again it's police office kenapa ada apostrophe and s here karena di sini um, dia menunjukkan bahwa ini adalah kantornya si poli alright ini jaketnya si poli kantornya si poli atau misalkan here uh, in the third example my dog's eyes are red nah ini ada apostrophe and s you know we kalau anda ngomong tentang ini tentunya you talk about possession anda ngomong tentang kepemilikan artinya mata milik anjingku alright jadi mata yang dimaksudkan di sini dimiliki oleh si anjingnya oke okay, makanya apostrofi dan s nya itu di attach digabungkan dengan anjing nah ini kenapa menjadi milik poli karena apostrofi atau koma atas dengan s nya itu digabungkan dengan nama poli makanya itu berarti menunjukkan bahwa itu adalah kepemilikan si poli or sandra's coat juga sama Right or for example here next year's celebration will be held in Kefa or in Manamas let's say <laughs> because I'm from Manamas. <laughs> right next year's celebration artinya perayaan tahun depan nah perayaannya milik siapa ya tahun depan right so when we talk about um possession we use apostrophe and s Anyway, I'm um, sorry karena ini lampunya padam. But I'll carry on. Saya akan lanjut. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to the second. I mean, recently I've been a little bit more conscientious of what I'm eating and if I'm prioritizing my health or not. So I thought it would be a good idea to kind of show you an updated what I'm eating in a day to try to stay healthy. Recently, I've been a little bit more conscientious. Apa artinya? Recently artinya akhir-akhir ini. I've been a little bit more conscientious. Saya um, sedikit menjadi lebih, um, ini artinya serius ya, conscientious. Artinya serius, lebih dedicated, lebih determined, um, lebih apa istilahnya. Pokoknya lebih serius lah. Kalian dedicated itu artinya lebih um, giat, lebih berdevosikan diri, mendedikasikan diri. Um, another one is uh, determined, artinya lebih serius, lebih tekun. Ha, itu sebenarnya arti-arti dari consciences, right? Um, determined itu tulisannya kayak gini. If you are determined, kalau anda tekun, nah gitu kan. Atau if you are dedicated, dedicated ini jauh lebih apa ya? Misalnya anda mendevosikan. Oh mendedikasikan bisa juga devoted but ini it is um, a little bit more I don't know but it's more like you know it has the the air of divinity ada kayak hal-hal semacam ke Tuhanan or something like that so I always prefer either, either conscientious determined or dedicated oh yeah ini artinya di sini I'm so sorry Um, so, arti dari consciences itu adalah serious about your work. It means you are determined to achieve your goals or you are dedicated to your work or whatever. So, basically, it talks about, um, you know, determination or, you know, tentang keseriusan anda. For example, Greg is a conscientious and dedicated worker will be an asset to your company artinya si Greg ini, ini nama orangnya is a conscience, conscientious adalah seorang pekerja yang serius dan dedikasinya tinggi will be an asset to your company yang akan menjadi um, aset perusahaan anda next she's a conscientious and hard working manager oh yeah now let's practice a little bit sorry I'm about to cough <coughs> excuse me Cara ucapkan ini adalah conscientious, conscientious, alright, that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, you, you just need to um, ulangin apa yang saya katakan uh, beberapa kali and I believe you'll get it. Next, 
stay healthy stay plus adjective nah stay ini artinya kalau um, anda cari di kamus artinya adalah tinggal ya tapi ada arti lain juga yang ketika digabungkan dengan adjektif atau kata sifat itu artinya terus menerus alright atau dalam bahasa inggris di, di sini adalah to continue doing something or to be in that or in a particular state for example okay artinya terus menerus melakukan sesuatu atau menjadi seperti you know um, yang saat ini terjadi for example aku langsung kasih contoh supaya kalian mengerti for example kayak stay healthy artinya teruslah um, apa ini sehat artinya sehat terus ya nah kayak gitu ya stay healthy kalau anda kata hey you stay healthy alright itu artinya teruslah um, hidup sehat teruslah sehat atau misalkan stay um, stay diligent rajin terus alright or ya yeah, atau misalkan di sini the shop stays open until nine o'clock artinya the shop art, atau the shop you can say that doesn't matter or the store artinya si tokonya atau si toko lagi ah uh, tokonya atau toko tersebut stays open artinya tetap terbuka until nine o'clock sampai jam sembilan alright or in the second example here put a lid on the pan so the food will stay hot stay hot ini artinya tetap panas ya jadi stay di sini artinya tetap atau terus menerus lid artinya tutupan jadi uh, taruh tutupan di atas go penggorengnya atau wadahnya so the food sehingga makanannya menjadi tetap panas alright now let's move on Also, I really want to say thank you so much to Care Of, who is sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Care Of before, it's a really cool company where if you sign up for a monthly subscription, they'll send you boxes of vitamins and individualized supplements and really cool things like protein powders to help you kind of prioritize your health. They'll send you some boxes, sorry, they'll, they'll send you boxes of vitamins and individualized supplements, all right? Now, um, what I'm going to talk about is individualized Oke, okay, kata ini. Anyway, this word, kata yang ini, you can pronounce it kayak vitamins, seperti ini gaya Amerika ya. Vitamins, alright, vitamins. Atau bisa kayak gaya Inggris, vitamins. So, bisa vi, bisa v. Okay, so it's up to you which one they're gonna use. Gak menjadi masalah. So, vitamins, vitamins, doesn't matter. Individualized. Individualized itu artinya, um, It is prepared or suitable for you only or for individual people only. Jadi kalau itu dibilang individualized itu artinya hanya untuk orang itu. It is not made for everybody. Itu enggak untuk semua orang. Okay. So if it is individualized supplements, itu artinya suplemen itu dibuat hanya untuk anda. You cannot share it with anyone else. Anda enggak bisa bagi dengan siapapun because it is only for you. It, it, it is suitable um, for you only okay hanya untuk anda saja so for example the hospital gives individualized care to all its patients right artinya si uh, rumah sakitnya memberikan perawatan yang betul-betul individualized atau betul-betul pribadi hanya untuk orang itu saja to its all patients artinya everyone is special here setiap orang, for example, this the first patient, this the second patient, this the third patient. Ini di treat atau di layani secara berbeda daripada ini dan ini. Karena mereka memiliki kepribadian yang unik atau yang berbeda-beda. Okay, so the hospital gives individualized care to, its, to all its patients. Right? And the power is still off. Listriknya mas padaman, sorry. <laughs> um, saya harap suara saya tetap jernih bagus ya. Anyway, let's move on to the next. I feel like especially with the cooler months ahead and the holidays coming up, that it's really easy to let your health and your fitness routine kind of take a back seat. Um, it's really easy to let your health and your fitness routine kind of take a back seat. Okay, so ini yang saya mau, I want to talk about take a back seat. Apa artinya? It means to be or become 
less important. Artinya menjadi lebih sedikit penting atau tidak sepenting yang lainnya ya. Itu artinya take a back seat. Atau bisa juga artinya mundur. Nah, bisa arti bahasa Inggrisnya tidak penting atau tidak mun, tidak maju atau mundur istilahnya. So for example, his acting career has taken a back seat ever since. Artinya apa? Karir aktingnya atau karir um, akting bahasa Indonesia-nya apa ya? Pokoknya yang bermain film itulah. Um, has taken a back seat. Artinya menjadi tidak maju atau mundur sejak saat itu. Tidak maju-maju. Pokoknya um, it is not stagnant tapi malah mundur ya. Bukan hanya dia stagnant. Stagnant artinya tetap di tempat. Tapi ini kalau taken a back seat artinya mundur. For example, nah, uh, sebelumnya Iris anggap saja kita nilai, kasih nilai 80%. Sekarang bisa jadi 20% doang. Atau maybe 10%, I don't know. So something like that. Or for example here, in the second example here, um, after 40 years in the business, it's time for me to take a back seat and let someone younger take over. So after 40 years, sesudah 40 tahun in the business, it's time for me. Sekarang waktunya, di dalam bisnis ya, sekarang waktunya bagi saya to take a back seat, untuk mundur atau mengundurkan diri. And let someone younger take over. Dan membiarkan seseorang yang lebih muda um, menggantikan posisiku. Kayak gitu ya. Next. So I feel like as the holidays are approaching and things are getting busier, you guys are really going to love and benefit from the service because it can help you get some extra boosts of immunity or energy or whatever you're really needing or lacking. All you have to do is take a short quiz on the Care Of's website. It literally takes like five minutes. It literally takes like five minutes. Now, um, I want to talk about ini, frasa ini. Ini dan biasa dihubungkan dengan ini. Atau pokoknya ini diganti-ganti sih ya, tapi take. So it means to need or require time. Artinya membutuhkan waktu. Atau dalam bahasa Indonesia, makan waktu. For example, it takes me an hour to get there. Artinya dia makan saya sejam. Takes me an hour to get there. Dia makan sejam, right? Or um, anggap saja. It takes... Two hours or yeah, four hours from Kefa to Kupang. All right? So it takes four hours from Kefa to Kupang, and it takes an hour. Actually, not an hour, unless I'm using, uh, unless you're using a motorcycle, of course. But anyway, let's generalize it like that. It takes an hour from Manamas to Kefa. Okay, something like that. Or in the, in the second example here, relax. It takes time. Artinya, okay, Sunday, relax. All right? Chill. It takes time. Butuh waktu. All right? Jadi, biasanya kalau take, kemudian diikuti dengan time, it means makan waktu atau butuh waktu. Next. So in this quiz, you literally just answer easy questions about your diet and your lifestyle and just your overall health needs. And then you're going to get a research-backed recommendation with all the vitamins, supplements, and proteins you need based on your personalized quiz results. So it's really cool and individualized to you. Based on your personalized quiz results. Right? Based on. Artinya berdasar pada. So uh, the explanation here uh, says that Mengatakan bahwa if one thing is based on another, it is developed from it. Alright, so once again, if one thing is based on another, kalau satu hal didasarkan pada hal yang lain, it is developed from it. Itu berarti dia dikembangkan dari situ. Alright, so kata based on itu artinya berdasar pada. For example, all these new products were based on market research. Artinya semua produk baru uh, uh, produk-produk baru ini didasarkan atau berdasar pada riset pasar. Uh, okay, all these new products were based on market research. Based on the experiments, it can grow 
it can grow in extreme weather based on the experiments artinya berdasar pada eksperimen it can grow in extreme weather bisa tumbuh di cuaca ekstrim so once again that's all about based on let's move on maybe this one is the last one i think yeah and then after you fill out that quiz it's literally so convenient they'll ship the monthly subscription box right to your door yeah and it's just a really cool product and service idea for staying on track with your health to stay on track with your health to stay on track i'm, I'm going to talk about this to stay on track means to continue to work or make progress as planned expected or desired artinya kalau you stay on track artinya anda terus Uh, bekerja atau membuat kemajuan sesuai dengan rencana atau yang direncanakan atau yang diharapkan atau yang diinginkan jadi if you stay on track itu artinya anda tetap berada di jalan yang benar ha, track itu lebih kayak jalan-jalan ya jadi if you stay on track itu artinya anda tetap di jalan yang benar for example it's really challenging to stay on track artinya cukup menantang untuk terus-menerus berada di Uh, jalannya atau di jalan yang benar alright sebenarnya biasanya kebanyakan on the right track biasanya ada yang tambah di sini on the right track artinya di jalan the right di sini artinya benar on the right track okay so it's really challenging to stay on the right track or if you want to succeed or if you want to succeed you have to stay on track with your business plan all right so once again If you want to succeed, you have to stay on track with your business plan. Okay? So, artinya jika Anda mau sukses, Anda harus terus menerus berada di jalan yang tepat. On the right track. Uh, dengan bisnis, rencana bisnis Anda. Okay? Dan saya pikir uh, sampai di sini saja. Untuk teman-teman sekalian yang ingin mau belajar atau join komunitas kursus bahasa Inggris RPA 100. Anda bisa lihat nomornya atau klik link yang ada di kolom deskripsi. And I'll see you there. Alright. And that's it. I'm Bonifalo. See you in the next video.